Hi, this tutorial will show you how to use the snapshot tool in uh, MeshLab. The snapshot tool is extremely useful because it gives you a very easy way to have images of your 3D model. And uh, it works just like uh, having a digital camera and taking photos of your model. So if you choose the button of the snapshot tool here, you have a new window appearing uh, where you can set uh, the output folder and the name of the image that you will uh, save and you can also use a counter if you want to take uh, multiple images uh, multiple different snapshots and then if you just click save you have uh, as a result an image which uh, depicts the model exactly from the point of view uh, in the match lab uh, uh, window but there are other things that you can do with mesh uh, with the, the snapshot tool and uh, for example you can define to that you want a transparent background that the, like the image that I showed before but uh, if you want you can also preserve the background uh, by uh, provided by meshlab so if I save the image from this point of view the result you see preserve the background of meshlab so you can choose if you want to preserve the, the background or not another very interesting feature is the possibility to use the screen multiplier the screen multiplier gives you uh, the possibility to create uh, images at, at much higher resolution than the one uh, of the GL area of MeshLab so if you for example if you choose the screen multiplier at 2 you will uh, produce an image which is twice the size in both width and height and this is very useful especially if you want to put your images for example in uh, documents which need to be printed so if you want to have very detailed uh, images you can use the screen multiplier to get higher resolution so if you launch uh, the snapshot with the screen multiplier you see that the, the snapshot is divided in four parts and uh, you have this final image which is the same as the first one that we took but uh, at uh, twice the, the original resolution. The snapshot tool, the snapshot tool is quite interesting because if you want you can also save these four different portions in which this uh, bigger image was saved uh, as independent images. You, you can use also, you just need to, to select the tile save checkbox and you see these four sub images are saved as uh, independent images. One, two, three, and four. It's quite important to point out that uh, you, when you're using the screen multiplier, you have to keep the transparent background because, unfortunately, you cannot uh, use the screen multiplier with the background of MeshLab. You won't have very nice results. Uh, just try that if you want. One last uh, important uh, feature of this uh, snapshot is that if you want, you can define a single point of view and you can uh, take. Uh, uh, independent snapshots of all the layers of your project so if you choose snap all layers you will have uh, uh, six different images which will show you only one of the layers uh, at a time so here I have several uh, layers together if I click save I will have six different images all taken from the very same point of view so you see here, these are the six range maps which created the form of the Laurana and they were saved at different uh, images. This can be very useful if you have uh, several objects from uh, which are uh, um, overlapped one to the other and you want to show these objects independently from the very same point of view and you can do it with only one click. So the snapshot tool as you can see is extremely easy to use and you can have uh, images of the resolution that you want. Uh, one last thing that uh, you could uh, take advantage of is the possibility of changing the background color. So you can change the background so that you can change also your snapshot by changing the background. So that's it for this uh, um, tutorial about snapshot.
please feel free to experiment with that. You can get very nice results, uh, especially uh, combining the snapshot with all the other mm, visualization uh, features of Meshup, like the use of shaders, changing the light, uh, and a particular kind of coloring, and so on. Thank you.